This might surprise some people, but a lot of Muslim women wear this because we choose to, not because we're forced to. It's called a hijab, and in some places, it's pretty controversial. France has a partial ban on the hijab, while Germany's chancellor wants to do something similar with the niqab, which is a full face veil. The arguments against them go something like this. She ought to be in prison for wearing a hijab. This immigration policy of, of you know, us assimilating immigrants into our culture isn't really working. Their, their worth is explicitly diminished, and this is, the, this is a, an, an outward f sign of that captivity. But that leaves out some crucial context and history about women who cover, including early followers of Christ, like Mary, the mother of Jesus. You never see her depicted without a hijab. Today we see a lot of people across many religions wearing some kind of head covering, including nuns, some Jewish women, and some Muslim women. So why is it supposedly so scary when Muslim women do it? Partly because of misinformation and over-the-top depictions, especially in TV and movies. The truth is people all over the world cover for a lot of reasons, to maintain a sense of modesty, to empower themselves, to honor tradition, or just because they think it's the right thing to do. And let's be clear, in some places, women are forced to cover their head or face, but that might have more to do with politics or culture than with religion. After all, the Quran says there is no compulsion in Islam. For a lot of us, it's just a way to express ourselves, and in societies that value free expression, that's something to consider.